Hello everyone, I am Ms. R. Ramya Vasalakchi, working as Assistant Professor in Department of Physics at KSR College of Arts and Science for Women. Today we are discuss about the topic of inadequacy of classical mechanics. Classical mechanics explain only the macroscopic particle, could not explain microscopic particle. There are five types. First one is black body radiation, second one is photoelectric effect, third one is Compton effect and fourth one is stability of atom and fifth one is variation of specific heat of solid with temperature. We saw briefly about the black body radiation. A black body emits heat radiation of all wavelengths but energy of radiation is different for different wavelength. The graph is plotted between the wavelength lambda and energy E lambda. Consider a black body at temperature 1000 Kelvin as a wavelength lambda increases. The energy of the, uh, energy of the radiation also increases. Reach a maximum value of the particular wavelength lambda m. So the energy decreases as the temperature of the black body is also decreases. Second one is photoelectric effect. When a high energy radiation like ultrason ultrasonic waves, ultraviolet, x-rays or gamma rays are falls on a metal surface. The metal emits electron is called photoelectric effect. Third one is Compton effect. When monochromatic x-ray of wavelength lambda are scattered by the low atomic number element like carbon it is scattered radiation consider of not only the original wavelength lambda but also the radiation longer wavelength lambda plus d lambda these changes in the wavelength d lambda depends on the angle of scattering this effect is called comp and fourth one is stability of atom we consider the hydrogen atom. Rutherford model failed to explain the two main features of hydrogen atom. First one is stability and second one is the spectrum of the radiation. The last one is variation of specific heat of solid with the temperature. According to classical physics, the specific heat of the solid is constant and the in independent of the temperature but experimentally it was observed the specific heat of the solid and zeroth Kelvin and the temperature increases the specific heat also increases. The next topic is matter waves. We know that light have dual nature. Light sometimes behaves like a wave and sometimes behaves like a particle. Interference diffraction and polarization can be explained only by the wave theory of light photon photoelectric effect. Compton effect can be explained only by the quantum theory of light, according to which light is emitted as particle. Louis de Broglie suggests that just like radiation, matter must also have dual nature. He came to this conclusion due to the following resonant. The two resonants are natural love symmetry and integer rule. The next topic is Davison and Germer experiment. In this figure, the experimental arrangement is the electron are produced by heating a filament F by a low tension battery Lt. The electron are the accelerated through a potential difference V in the electron gun. This electron beam falls on the large single crystal of nickel. The electron are scattered in the direction by the atom in the crystal. The detector can be moved to any angle pi relative to the incident beam. The energy of the electron in the primary beam, the angle at, by, at which they reached that target and the position of the detector could be varied. Experimental procedure. The accelerating potential V is given low value. The beam of electron fall normally on the surface of the crystal. The detector is moved moved various position and the intensity of the diffraction beam at each position is noted. The intensity of diffracted beam is plotted again the angle between the incident beam and the beam entering the de detector. The method of the plotting is such that the intensity at any angle proportional to the distance of the curve at the angle from the position of the scattering. The observation are repeated for the difference accelerating voltage and a number of curves are drawn. In this graph, 
we are applying different types of voltage the graph remains uh, fairly smooth till the accelerating voltage become 44 volt when a lamp when a bump up appears on the curve as the accelerating voltage is increased the length of the bump increases the bump become most prominent in the curve of 54 volt electron theta is equal to 50 degree as the accelerating voltage is further increases the bump is increased decreases in the length of the finally disappear at 68 volt Bragg's equation n lambda is equal to 2d sin theta. Lambda is equal to 2 into 0 0.091 nanometer sin 65 degree. Therefore, lambda is equal to 0 0.165 nanometer. Thank you for watching.